Jedburgh, Scots Gaelic Dedgerd, Jethard is a town and former royal burg in the Scottish borders and former county town of Roxburghshire. Bishop Agurt of Lindisfarne founded a church at Jedburgh in the 9th century, and King David I of Scotland made it a priory between 1118 and 1138, housing Augustinian monks from Beauvais in France. The abbey was founded in 1147. But border wars with England in the 16th century left it a ruin. The deeply religious Scottish King Malcolm IV died at Jedburgh in 1165, aged 24. His death is thought to have been caused by excessive fasting. David I built a castle at Jedburgh, and in 1174, it was one of five fortresses ceded to England. It was an occasional royal residence for the Scots but captured by the English so often that it was eventually demolished in 1409, by which time it was the last English stronghold in Scotland. In 1258, Jedburgh was a focus of royal attention, with negotiations between Scotland's Alexander III and England's Henry III over the succession to the Scottish throne, leaving the common faction dominant. Alexander III was married in the Abbey in 1285. Its proximity to England made it subject to raids and skirmishes by both Scottish and English forces but its strategic position also brought the town valuable trade. At various times and at various locations the town supported a horse market, a cattle market, a corn market and a butcher market. Farm workers and servants also attended hiring fairs seeking employment. Mary, Queen of Scots, stayed at a certain house in the town in 1566 and that house is now a museum. Lord of Jedburgh Forest was a lordship of parliament that was granted to George Douglas, 1st Earl of Angus on his marriage to the Princess Mary, daughter of Robert III in 1397. It is a subsidiary title of the present Earl of Angus, the Duke of Hamilton. The Duke of Douglas was raised to the position of Viscount Jedburgh Forest, but he died without an heir in 1761. In 1745, the Jacobite army led by Prince Charles Edward Stuart passed through the town on its way to England, and the prince also stayed there. The castle prison opened in 1823. In 1787, the geologist James Hutton noted what is now known as the Hutton Unconformity 4, at Inchbany, near Jedburgh. Layers of sedimentary rock which are tilted almost vertically are covered by newer horizontal layers of red sandstone. This was one of the findings that led him to develop his concept of an immensely long geologic time scale with no vestige of a beginning, no prospect of an end. The expression Jedart Justice or Jethart Justice, in which a man was hanged first, and tried afterward, compare Lynch Law, seems to have arisen from one case of summary execution of a gang of villains. <laughs>